we started. Okay. Chapter 13 and 14. Jamisa's is having technical difficulties, but she's technically here. But she is here. She's just having technical difficulties. Anyways, uh, chapter 13 is about... Oh, now I just closed my whole thing. Okay. Well, chapter 13 is about liquids and chapter 14 is about gases. So let's see. I didn't do that. My computer just got so mad at me. Have been more prepared was not okay so we talked about pressure we talked about pressure within liquids we talked about buoyancy <laughs> How do you pronounce it? Is it Archimide? Archimedes? Archimedes? Ar Archimedes? I think it's Archimedes. You might be right. I think you're right. Archimedes principle. Oh, let's see if I can spell it though. You spelled it right. Is it Prince? Yeah. Ellie. Ah, shoot. <laughs> I really thought about it. Dang. That's okay. like principal, like teacher or whatever teacher boss <laughs> oh god dude i'm supposed to be a teacher and it's going it's going <laughs> pressure equals force over area i almost typed over area instead of writing it and it is measured in pascals or i thought it was also measured in atms like atmospheric pressure but that might be an actual, like, it is the pressure. Yeah, you know what? That is atmospheric pressure. I'm just stupid. Don't say that. Oh, thank you. <laughs> it's measured in ATM, I think. Um, so pressure in the liquid... equals liquid pressure equals weight density times depth. I don't get Pascal's principle. Like I was reading it over and over. But I still don't get it. Archimedes principle? No, the other one, the Pascal, Pascal's principle. Gosh, hold up. Ah! That one, let's see where it's at. Well, our pages are different, so that won't really help. Oh, but it's 13.7. says a change in pressure at any point in an unclosed fluid at rest is transmitted undiminished to all points in the fluid. I don't get that. What does that mean? <laughs> That's what I'm trying to figure out. Like, what is that? Does the change in pressure go through all of the water if it if that's the case? Shit. Hmm. Even looking at the figure, it doesn't make sense to me either. It does. The liquid within a Pascal's principle. Get all of the get all of the pressure. 
I don't know if that's correct or if that's like a well a good way to like rate that question or is it better to say liquid within Pascal's principle all of the pressure is evenly distributed, distributed yeah maybe I think that's yeah I think mean, that one looks better chapter 13 we've got enough for that one oh surface tension didn't even have to talk about that um let's see chapter fudge nuggets was i talking about chapter 14 no 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 okay i'm 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 not tripping sorry i'm 14 you're good i'm losing it i'm losing it I had a drink somewhere, but I don't know where it went. Oh, you just reminded me of my drink. Womp womp. <laughs> Some sprat. <laughs> you rat. Oh, here's where we talk about atmospheric pressure. Aha, I knew we talked about it somewhere. Well. I had a Welch's pop. <laughs> like a sparkling fruit punch thing i don't know i've seen that work i was like oh that looks good so i bought it but i also bought some cheetos in a slim gym and i left it at work when my sister came to pick me up and now i'm sad because i was going to eat it with my noodles i thought it might be a nice little meal but now i just have noodles and uh pickle <laughs> Ooh, what kind of noodles did you get or what kind of noodles did you make just some regular chicken ones nothing crazy mm -hmm. what an egg <laughs> I made a pasta last night. I made, I guess my boyfriend and I made it. We made it taste taste, but basically just like uh, pizza and we used sausage instead of like ground beef and it's fucking delicious, dude. Nice. I love sausage. On Sunday, I had made this uh, like breakfast skillet. It was cut up like diced potatoes, bell peppers and onions, and then uh, beef calabaza. And uh, it's very good. Very, very good. <laughs> There's pressure and volume. Oh, I kept thinking that we talked about chapter 13 last time. We didn't, right? Because we did 11 and 12, right? I believe so. <laughs> I believe so. Let me see. Let me double check. I just don't want us to have another test and I know we're going to and I just don't want us to. <laughs> Look, I was trying to sign in a Canvas on my laptop, but my phone is upstairs and I don't feel like grabbing it to do the little duo thing. Mm -hmm. So tedious. Like, Because I remember when I first started going to UNL, I swear that wasn't the thing, that duo thing. Like I swear, it just happened like in the middle of the school year. So I'm Every like, day. I'm not gonna do uh, that. God, I've been working on this unit plan for my math class literally all day. And I scrapped everything that I had for it. And so now I'm just like stressing because it's due on Saturday and I just stressed. <sighs> what math is it? So it's my methods math class. And so it's my final practicum for before I start, like before I student teach next semester. And so I have mm -hmm. to do a whole unit over um something. And so the unit that I decided to do is like an algebra unit, except I'm struggling with writing the unit because the way that I was learned, the way that I taught and the, or the way that I've learned to teach was 
to plan out every single thing for every single day. And now they want me to do a unit and I'm like, okay, cool. But like the way that I know how to do it is by planning the one plan, one plan, one plan. And so I'm trying to do that. And it's just a lot. Mm -hmm. (laughs) It's just a lot. But no teachers made their units. I thought like somebody made it for them and they just have to go off of it. I wish. The more you know. After solids, I can't spell today. Liquids and gases. Plasma is pink. Ooh, it's electrified. Plasma power. That sounds cool. Plasma power. I don't know. When I was reading about plasma, I thought it was going to be like like the plasma that you donate. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought too. <laughs> Why did they never tell us about plasma like growing up? Like they always said liquid, solid, gas. Right. Oh, it's so that. funny how I put in parentheses not to be confused with the clear liquid part of blood also called plasma. <laughs> <laughs> This plasma is not the plasma in your body. That's fine. Ooh, that's a good question, though. What would happen to your body if you injected gas plasma? So I'm like, is plasma just like another, okay, it's like another form of gas, basically? Um, it says plasma is so. an electrified, electrified yeah. Huh. says the sun and other stars are largely plasma okay i thought the sun was like a big thing of gas wasn't i don't know yeah. wait but i think the sun has plasma too oh like it just seemed like it's a part of it probably yeah mm. how do i 